I think for a long time, there was a lot of focus on what women were wearing, right? So, you know, always a little note about the color of her suit or, and to a degree where men also were not duplicated. There was never a mention of whether or not somebody was wearing a Dior tie or what it, you know, what color of their fabric of their suit was. Uh, so that, that tended to trivialize women because it, it just, if you're focusing um, on what she is wearing, you're not focusing on what she is saying. Um, secondly, is that among the stereotypes is that um, women are um, women are aggressive, but men are assertive. And if and if women behave too much like men, they are seen as being um, hostile. Um, another one that I think is a double-edged sword is the word ambition. <clears throat> You'd think that ambition is a value-neutral term, but it's not. And ambition in the cases of men is often seen as um, a positive or it's mixed. It can be either positive or negative. To call a woman ambitious is to almost always be negative and condemning. And that, that harkens to what we see as, um, I think, a double standard that if women are putting themselves and their ambitions first and foremost, they must be neglecting someone else or something else in their family. Arguably the same thing is true for men, but we don't, we don't have the same um, social response to men being absentee fathers as we do for women being absentee mothers or men being absentee sons to aging parents as we might for um, an adult daughter. Um, women are also, um, I think, perceived very often as having experience in certain program areas, which by implication means that they are inexperienced in others. So the stereotype is that women are, um, are the authorities on women's issues, abortion, reproductive rights, health care, and anything to do with children. Um, and even if a woman positions herself, much like Elizabeth Warren has, as being an expert in tax, finance, economics, foreign policy, or the military, that they are not ever seen as being as authoritative on those issues as a man would be. So the, the stereotype for men is that they get the world and women get the family. It's really an extension of how we see the social expectations within the family of who takes responsibility for what. And, and for people like Elizabeth Warren, who really, she's really styled herself. She was an expert in bankruptcy law when she was an attorney and a law professor and now has translated that into being, being an expert on consumer financial protection and tax policy and so on and so forth, is that um, it's it's a very um, it's a very slow process to get the media to recognize women as authorities in those fields. And women who've been elected to office will often complain that when they get called by the media, it's to talk about women's issues, whether they consider themselves experts in those fields or not, and that they're not asked about what they consider their legislative priorities. And that same is not true for men.